What we have here is a remarkable circuit. Uh, these are uh, the waveforms for a DC uh, based on Don uh, Smith's work. And I'm going to show you the circuit before we go any further. You got a variac over here. You got an isolation transformer here. This is the uh, 6025-SEG-U. It's a neon transformer, 115 uh, volts AC, 60 cycles. The old, the old school stuff. These are uh, microwave oven diodes. The NTE 517s. Uh, this side we're running three of them. In parallel, this one we're only running one. We wanted to get the waveform uh, even. We seem to be getting more rectification on one side of this uh, transformer than the other, so we tried to uh, stack the odds in favor, and now the waveform seems to be even. Uh, we have C1 capacitor is 0.047 micro forads at 10 kilovolts. This is the uh, isolation uh, transformer. It's a variable isolation, radio frequency, resonant frequency uh, transformer. This was designed to give us a center tap on the output here. It's close coupling. It's a PVC tube. We'll show you that in a second. Spark gap. This is based on uh, our design, but it's also uh, patterned after uh, Ed Gray's work. Uh, the electrons are being extracted from the spark itself. That's based on Ed stuff. C2 uh, helps these fluorescent tubes. By the way, we're running four of them. Never got four of them going before. And we're running... This is just from the extraction from the spark plug. From the spark gap. Yeah, there we go. Over uh, About 500 volts. Uh, that's DC, by the way. The uh, frequency, yeah, that's what it shows. That's full wave, so that should be about, uh, should be about 120. So, and the duty cycle, let's see what duty cycle is. There's the duty cycle. Not bad. Let me turn that light off here. Doesn't want to go. Yeah, anyhow, what we've got here. Floor fluorescent tubes all in series. This capacitor here, uh, right here, C2, is two microwave oven. Here they are, capacitors in series. Uh, so it's about one microfarad each. Cut that in half, you got 0.5 microfarads. Now that is that's in uh, parallel with these in-series fluorescent tubes. Voltmeter here analog, what we just seen. And uh, it's never ran that good before on the extraction circuit. And the uh, waveform is uh, very stable and these spikes are even, first time ever. We couldn't do that with two uh, single diodes. Last time we had a single diode here, single diode here. We could not get that waveform even. We had one be uh, longer than the other. You know, we're going to show you oh, another another remarkable thing. This has been running for over 20 minutes now. And you can see the temperature of the... Uh, let's see if that thing will... There it is. You're looking about... There it is. 80 degrees. Now, there's no way we've ever ran this spark gap for 20 minutes and it maintained... This is the ambient temperature, about 80 degrees in here. Uh, we haven't put our finger on it. Uh, but there's no way that thing stays at 80 degrees. This thing usually runs about 220 degrees. So something very odd is, is working uh, with this system. It's got a lot of voltage on the, uh, <clears throat> the spark gap uh, extraction. And what we're going we're gonna to shut the uh, circuit off here right now. By the way, this is running about 115. And the lights went down. And see if we can get a sneak peek inside here. This is the... Uh, yeah, a little hard to see without a light. Yeah. 
This is the uh, isolation transformer. It's got a uh, ferret core that sli it slides in and out of the. Uh, this is a PVC 1.5 diameter PVC tube. It's got 151 turns on the primary of, uh, I believe it's eight uh, 20. I'm saying 22, 24. The Bob Boyce wire he used on his resonant drive. Silver coated, solid core, copper. With Teflon coating, that's the primary. Is this the small wire Bob uses? The larger wire, I believe it is 18. We're getting two. Uh, we have a center tap, so we have two parallel windings, 49 turns each, and we uh, connect them together so we have a center tap. So what we're going to do is is put two diodes uh, for a full wave on the output of this, and that what you're seeing right there is a point. 047 a capacitor or uh, 10 ki uh, 10 kilovolts and we tune this uh, this is a variable radio frequency a resonant frequency isolation transformer by pulling the uh, the core out and getting this the right uh, uh, speed we got this tuned to about 29,000 kilohertz uh, we, we tune it with the capacitor as well as the the movable core. Okay, we're going to touch this thing here. Make sure the thermometer hasn't failed us. Now this is this is pretty remarkable. The spark gap is obviously working because you can see from the scope here. And whoops, this these are generally cold anyhow. The electrodes, if if we have it wired one way, this will the anode will be hot. And the uh, cathode will be cold, but this center is always, it's always hot. I mean, you can't touch the center. The center usually, like really, say, it runs 100, it runs about 220 degrees. And you can see it's, it's still running about 80 degrees, so. And you see, this pattern's off, so there you have it.